Hello everyone outside there that is watching me or is following my lessons on BTN TV. Again, it is Teacher Fred delivering a mathematics lesson just like as I've been doing. For those who have been following us, they know where we started from and where we are. Yes. Today we are looking at a multiplication and a division of indices. That will be the lesson for today. Uh, when we look at indices, indices has got its uh, laws that we do follow when we are working out numbers. Before we go to use the laws of indices to work out the number, I would first of all just work it out. Then the second method we shall use the law of indices. So when we come to look at this, let uh, earlier on we looked at expansion of indices or numbers. We have been given numbers and we were required to expand them, which we have already looked at for those who have been following us. In case you have not been following us and you'll also wish to have that lesson of expansion of these digits or these numbers here with their exponent, simply just go to BTN TV channels and uh, check on their YouTube, you'll find everything. However, we looked at expansion of these bases. So at this time around, I want us to first of all expand all the bases that then thereafter we shall work on them out just like as it is required. So the first example says simplify h to exponent 6 times 8 exponent 4 divided by 8 indice, index 3. So sometimes I said we can call this a power, we can call this exponent, at the same time we can call it index. So it has got three names or terms. We can call it power, at the same time we can call it Index, at the same time, we can call it exponent. And the donor number has got only one term, that is base. So this is base, this is power, or indices, or exponent. So when you look at this, I want us to expand everything here. And when we expand everything here, we shall look at the first base. They have said we multiply eight, six times. So I will say one times eight times eight times eight times eight. How many times are those? One, two, three, four, five. But remember, we are supposed to multiply eight, six times. So if we are supposed to multiply it six times, then I will continue and say times eight. So I'll count this, I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, I've now expanded the first number. Then I'll say times, I'll come to expand the second number, that will be eight times eight times eight times eight. Then I'll see what, how many times do they want? They wanted us to expand or multiply eight four times. So we have eight times eight times eight times eight. Then from there, I'll see, I've already expanded that. Then from there, we shall also continue with the next one, where they have said divide by eight exponent three, or power three, or index three. So the word divide is the same as saying out of. So I'll say divide by or out of, divide by. I'm now dividing. So when you look at the next number they have said, we multiply eight, how many times? Three times. Three times. I'm now saying, 8 to power 6, which is here, 8 to power 6 means when we expand 8, it will be 
8 times 8 times 8 times 8. It must appear 6 times. So we shall have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So they, it is appearing 6 times. That means this is 8 to power 6. Then from there we shall also continue and say times 8 to power 4. Meaning that the next number we have to expand this 8 4 times. So we shall say 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 power 4. Here we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 8 to power 6. We are just expanding. Then we shall say divide by, divide by, this line here, all saying out of is the same as saying divide by. <coughs> so we shall say divide by 8 to power 3, meaning that we have to multiply 3 times 1, 2, 3. So it is 8 to power 3. That will be the first step. Then the second step, I will say 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 8. Those are 6 times for the first one, first brackets, then we continue this, times 8 times 8 times 8. So we shall keep multiplying everything until we summarize the whole number. So I will say times 8 times 8. Let's see how many 80s are appearing up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then let's check it down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have already got our denominators or numbers that has been expanded up. Then we say divide by, divide by 8 times 8 times 8. Here we had 8 3 times. 8 3 times. Here I have also 8 3 times. So I want us to work out the number from here by saying I'll cancel out 1 0 down here. At the same time I'll cancel 1 8 also up. You cancel 1 8 down, cancel 1 8 up. Cancel 1 8 down, cancel 1 8 up. Then from there I'll say this 8 will move with this 8. Then at the same time I'll say this 8 will also move up with this 8. When you cancel one up, you cancel one down. You cancel one down, you cancel one up. That is how we are dividing. Then from there, we shall say, here we say 8 divided by 8, it goes. 8 divided by 8, it goes. 8 divided by 8, it goes. So we shall come here and say, what are we remaining with? We are remaining with 8 times, we are remaining with this 8 times, this 8 times, this 8 times, 8 times, 8 times, 8. Let's count them and see how many 80s are we remaining with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, sorry. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They are 7 80s that have not been cancelled. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we shall say time was 8. How many are they now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They are 8 7s which are not cancelled. So what does it mean? The final answer we shall come here and say, our answer will be 8 to power. Let's come out with only one pairs. After coming out with one pairs, then we shall come and count the number of eight that is appearing. So I will say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the number of times it is appearing, eight is appearing, is going to become the exponent of eight. So we shall say, we have seven eighties remaining. So we shall say eight to power seven. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I will get just only one base, I put it here. Then after writing it here, I will come and count the number of eight. From there, I will underline my answer. As we are underlining this answer, keep this in mind. That indices has got its rules, or laws that we follow. So if they have not specified using its laws, then you can use this. But sometimes they set the question and they say, they specify, use the law of indices. So if they specify, then you can't use this method. I want us to look at the second method following the indices or the law of indices. So the second method, we are going to follow the law of indices and we work the number out at the same time. So this will be second method or method D. So, so when we come to the second method, I want us to use the law of indices. And what does the law of indices say? The law of indices says when you are multiplying bases or when you are multiplying indices with the same base, we only add the powers. We only add the powers. Meaning that if our bases are the same, remember we have eight as the base. So if our bases are the same, what happens? We only add the powers when you are multiplying. But the situation whereby bases are not the same, we don't add the powers. But at this time around, they have said, if the bases are the same, then we are required to add their powers. On the same note about law of indices, when we are dividing indices with the same powers, I mean with the same bases, we always subtract the powers. When you are multiplying, we add the powers. When we are dividing, we subtract the powers. Only if, only if their bases are the same. But if they are not the same, you are not allowed to subtract or add. So we have to follow that. When you are to subtract, just look at the bases first of all. If they are the same, then you go ahead and subtract. If you're multiplying, check the bases. If they're the same, go ahead and add their powers. But if the bases are different, don't add their powers. So let's look at this. We have got 8 to power 6 times 8 to power 4 divided by 8 to power 3. So when we look at this number of hours, you realize that we have got the same bases. So if we have the same bases, what will happen when we are following the law of indices? When you are multiplying indices with the same bases, we add their powers. And when you check here, we have 8 as the base, which is uniform. So here, the law of indices applies because we have got the same bases. Then from there, I'll come here and say, 8 is our base. Then we have multiplication. We said when we are multiplying, we just add the indices, add its powers. So we have got power 6, 
Since it is multiplication, we have to add their powers. So I'll say plus four. Remember when we continue, eight here of division is also the same base. So we said when you are dividing, you subtract the power. So we shall have to subtract the power. Then from there, we shall come up with eight, four plus six, four plus six, or six plus four, we shall have 10 minus three. Six plus four to give us 10 minus three. This will give us this will give us 8 to power, what is 10 take away 3? 10 take away 3. What do you get? 10 take away 3? 10 take away 3, we shall remain with 7. So what does it say? I'll say, therefore, 8 to power 6 times 8 to power 4 divided by 8 to power 3 it will give us 8 exponent 7 then from there I'll have my ruler and underline my answer okay so you can compare this with the first method here. The first method, you'll have to expand everything. You'll use expanded form. But the second method, we have used law of indices to work out the numbers or the number. So when they don't specify in examination, if they don't say using the law of indices, you are allowed to use this. At the same time, you are allowed to use this. But if they say, simplify 8 in text 6 times 8 in text 4 times 8 in text 3 using the law of indices. If you use this method, you will be marked wrong. Because here we have not used the law of indices. So if they say using the law of indices, it will be method two. If they specify by saying uh, simplify 8 to power 6 times 8 to power 4 divided by 8 to power 3 using expanded form, you have to use this first method. You don't use this. So you always have to follow the instructions given in a question. Which method have they specified? What they have specified in the question is what you have to use. If they say using the laws of indices, just use the second method. This is the law of indices. But if they have not talked of law of indices, at the same time they have not talked of Expression. You are free to use any method you want to work out. If the question was, for example, if the question is just like simplify the way this one is, you can either use the first method or you can use the second method. Use any method you want. You feel like it is really very easy for you to cope up with the questions. Use the simplest method you feel or you have understood better to drive you to the rightful answer if they have not specified the method that you are required to use. Following this method, method one and method two, I will also require you to try out this number. Try out this number. Simplify. Simplify x 
2 power 7 times x to power 8 divided by x to power 5 using law of indices. So I want, for, I want you to try out that. I want you to try that using the law of indices. Simplify x power 7 times x to power 8 divided by x to power 5. I want you to try that out in two minutes a time. Remember, as you are trying the number out, to still take the precautions and the measures given by the government, basing on the current situation. Simplify x exponent or power or index 7 times x index 8 or exponent 8 or power 8 divided by x divide, uh, divided by x exponent 5 or power 5 or index 8. Using the law of indices. When I say using the law of indices, it means you are going to use the second method, not the first method. Using the law of indices. That will be now the second method, not the first method. I hope we are almost through with that, such that we can continue. Somebody is saying now here they give us 8, here they have given us x. There is no any difference. What you have to consider is the bases, they are the same. Because all the bases there we have, uh, we have x, x, x as our base. So let's work it out together. Uh, when you look at the number, they have said simplify x to power 7 times x to power 8 divided by x to power 5. So we're using the law of indices just like the way we have done on the second method up there. So we shall say uh, this question will be worked as x to power 7 times x to power 8 divided by x to power 5. x to power 5. So I'm going to use the law of indices just like I've said it earlier. So we shall have x as our common base because here we have x, here we have x, here we have x. That is the base. So the base is the same. I'll only take one x as our base now. Then from there, I'll come up there and say, what do I have on the first x? I have exponent 7. Remember, we're multiplying by x. What happens when you are multiplying indices with the same bases? We add their powers. So I will say plus 8. Plus 8. This is the first expression. x times x. Here it is power 7. Here it is power 8. So I will just say 
we shall take one base because we have the same base. So we shall take one as x to power 7 plus 8. We are saying plus 8 because we are multiplying bases and uh, indices with the same bases. Then from there we say divide simply means subtract. So I say minus 5. But if this x was m, I would not do this. I would not do this because the bases would not be the same. But at this time round, every, uh, all the bases are the same. It is x, x, x. So I'll maintain x. Then from there we shall continue and say our x, so I'll say therefore x to power 7 times x to power 8 divided by x, x to power 5 will be equal to x to power, let's look at this together. We have 7 plus 8, that will give us 15. 15 take away 5, that will give us 10. So it will be x to power 10. If this is the answer you have got, please have your pencil or have your pen and mark it correct. Have your pencil and mark it correct and give yourself a high five after there. You underline that. So here we have used what we call the law of indices to work out this. Well, let's have other two more examples of the same kind. We shall have simplify. Simplify. M power 11 times m power 13 divided by m to power 10. Work that out as well. At the same time, work this out. Simplify v to power 3 times v to power 6 divided by v to power 4 using using expanded using expanded form So I want you to work out the two also. The two says, the first one they say, simplify m to power 11, m to power 11, times m to power 13, divided by m to power 10. So when you look at the first one on, this, uh, on the second trial number, you realize that they have not specified which method are you going to use. So it is just open. You use any method you want. But when you come to, uh, to the last example or trial number, they have said simplify v power 3 times v power 6 divided by v power 4 using expanded form, using expanded form. So when you look at that last number, you cannot apply method two there because they have not said expand it using the law of indices. They have said we use expanded form or expansion. Meaning that we have to use the first uh, method of the first example that I gave. You must be summarizing up your numbers within two minutes.
must be winding up. Remember, this program is empowered by BTN TV staff and uh, Wisdom Center staff in Vijayasara district, that is Kalumuna in Narama sector. The one conducting the lesson is the Director of Studies at Wisdom Center, Bujasela District. Just like my department is concerned, academically, our children do excel. Do you want excellent marks? Do you want excellent performance? And do you feel like joining Wisdom Center School as we kick off very soon? Please, you are very free to join us as long as you are from baby class up to P5. We shall receive you, though our vacancies are too limited. So please, if you have interest of joining us, simply reach us either online, you'll get all the information required, and your child will access the vacants at Wisdom School. And as a child, you also feel like you want to acquire excellent performance, discipline of the highest level, morally upright, spiritually upright, simply request your parent in a humble way that you bring you to Wisdom Center School where you'll find teachers love every child just like the way how the parents loves their children. Our, par our staff is too friendly to our children. They have parental love more than what you expect. Please trust us with your child and you won't regret at the end of it all. Stay blessed as you continue following our lesson. So let's look at the examples together. I want us to work on them together, and we got something else. So when we look at this, we have the first, the second example, the trial second example. I can call it the trial number two. Say simplify m to power 11 times m to power 13 divided by m to power 10. So when we come to this, when you look at this example here, or this trial number here, it is open. You can use any method you want. If you want, you can use expression. If you want, you can also use a uh, law of indices. Now, for this case, I would prefer to use the law of indices. So I'll say, using the law of indices, I'll come and say m to power 11 times m to power 13 divided by m to power 10. So we want to work out that using the law of indices, whereby I will say this will be the same as M because we are having the same base. We have M as a base here. We have M as a base. We have M as a base. So if we have the same bases, then what will happen? We shall just deal with now the exponents or powers or index. So in this case, I'll have my 11, power 11. Remember, we are multiplying. When you are multiplying, the law of indices says we add the power. So we shall say plus 13. That is what the law of indices says. At the same time, they say, or it states that, uh, when you are dividing indices with the same bases, we subtract their power. So we shall say minus 10. This will be equal to m to power, what is 
11 plus 13. This will give us 24 minus 10. Let's will finally, we shall now finally say, therefore, <coughs> m to power 11 times m to power 13 divided by, divided by, that's not 10, it is m, that is m. This is not 10, it is m. m power 11 times m power 13 times uh, divided by m power 10. This will give us finally m as a base. Then we come and look at this. Shall say 24 take away 10, it will give us 14. So the final answer will be m to power 14. Then after there, I'll have my ruler and underline that. I'll have to underline this as my answer. So we shall have m to power 11 times m to power 13 divided by m to power 10 will give us m to power 14. If you have that as your answer, give it a tick. If you have m to power 14 as your answer, give it a tick. And that is marvelous. Keep it up. Then let's come to the next number. The next number we have v to power 3 times v to power 6 divided by v to power 4. So I want us to look at that. When you look at the second or the last example, uh, or try number, they have said we have 6, I mean v to power 3, v to power, uh, to power 3 times v to power 6 divided by v to power 4. Remember they have given us a command saying using expanded form. So meaning that this will be expanded. And expanding this we shall have v times how many times? It will be v times v times v. So we shall multiply it by three times. So we shall have v times v times v. This is the first time we have finished this. v times v times v times v. We have expanded the first one. We multiply by the next one. That will be also V, but should be expanded six times. So we shall say V times V times V times V times V. Then we say one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, there are six times. So if there are six times, also times V. Okay? So whenever you multiply, you first have to count them. Here we have, they are supposed to be three in the first bracket. So this is one, two, three. Correct. Then we come to the next one. We have to be with the six. So we shall have one, two, three, four, five, six. Correct. You'll be counting them. Remember, we are dividing by V power four. So I will say divide by, I will say divide by, Divide by V times V times V times V. They must be four. One, two, three, four. So after this, I'll say this V will cancel out with this V. This V will cancel out with this V. With this V will cancel out with this V. This V will cancel out with this V. So after canceling out everything, we shall now remain with V. So I will come here and say, therefore, V to power 3 times V to power 6 divided by V to power 4 will give us V 
to power. So let's count the Vs we are remaining with. Here we have exhausted everything. So here we shall have one, two, three, four, five. So five Vs are not affected. So we shall say, we shall have V to power five, and after there, I'll have to give, I will have to underline my line here, my answer. So if you have got that one correct, you can also give yourself a tick, and after giving yourself a tick, I'll also have to leave you with some few numbers to work them out. As an exercise, and as, as I write, you'll be writing. But about this in consideration, once you see the command using, then you have to follow what they have given you. If they have not given anything, you can express it or you can answer it using any method you want. So the most important thing is to be focused on what they have asked you for. Which method are they demanding for? So once you realize the method they are demanding for, that will be the best thing. And use the same method they have used or they have instructed you to use. Because if you use a different method yet they have given you different instructions, you want, even if you get the correct answer, they will mark you wrong. For us, we assume you didn't know what you're doing. You might have even just copied it from the neighbor. So what do you do? Follow the instruction until you reach the end. So let's look at our activity. When we come to our activity, as I write, you'll be also writing. When we come to our activity, the first one says, using, using the law, of indices, indices, using the law of indices, simplify, simplify the following. So when you look at that number, they have already given us a command to use a certain method. We have to use the law of indices, because they have said using the law of indices. So the command is this, law of indices. You can now not use expanded form. When you expand, you'll be marked wrong. You have now to specifically use a law of indices. So we have to come to A, whereby we have L to power eight, Time was L to power seven. Time was L to power two divided by L to power nine. That will be the first. The second, we shall have K to power 100 times K to power 102 divided by K power 156. When we come to C, we shall have Z to power 101 times z to power 58 divided by z power 100 power 142. Then we shall also have d as f to power 24 times F to power 20 times F to power 
108 divided by f to the power 111. Then we shall come to number two. Number two, we shall say, simplify the following. Simplify the following. Simplify the following. A. X power 2 times X power 7 times X power 7 times X power 3 divided by X power 4. B. C, power 17, times C, power 10, times C, power 15, divided by C, power 20. Lastly, 105, power 6, times 105, Power 2 times 100, 5, power 10, power 101, divided by 105, power, power 67. So that will be your exercise. I want you to work out those numbers for those who have been following us. When we look at number one, they have said, they have said, using the law of indices, simplify the following, simplify the following. A, A, we have L to power eight times L to power seven times L to power two divided by L to power nine. We continue to number B, where they say the K power 100 times K to power 102 divided by K to power 156. Remember you're using law of indices. Number C, number C said Z to power 101 times z to power 58 divided by z to power 142. Lastly, on the first example, I mean the first number, f to power 24 times f to power 20 times f to power 128 divided by a to power 111. Without wasting time, let's look at the second example. The second example they say to simplify the following. Simplify the following. Simplify the following. X to power two times X to power seven times X to power seven times X to power three divided by X to power four. Number B, they said C to power 17 times C to power 14, I mean 10, Sorry, number two, B. C to power 17 times C to power 10 times C to power 15 divided by C to power 20. Number three, 
number C said 105 to power 6 times 105 to power 2 times 105 to power 101 divided by 105 to power 67. Those will be the numbers that you are required to work them out. In two minutes time, I think you must have coped everything as we look forward to the next coming program. Stay tuned. Always and keep in touch. Don't forget that this program is empowered by BTN staff and Wisdom Center School from Vujasela District, that is Kalumuna, within the Narama sector. Where the school is, the person delivering the lesson is the director of studies. And when we come to my section or my department, academically we do Excel. We have excellent performance as national examination is concerned. As we have excellent performance, we don't only look at performance academically because uh, performance academically only doesn't shape your child to the level we expect. Always performance in academics should move with the performance in morals or discipline. So what do I mean? Simply our school, we have got a disciplinary committee that has really impacted a lot and has done what is enough on ground to ensure that our children are really brought up morally upright. All the staff is concerned of every child's welfare, regardless of the class where the teacher teaches or doesn't teach. Our teachers get concerned and the administration of a child's affairs more than what you expect. It is a school that really over services at a fair school fees. Our target is to make sure that our children acquire quality education regardless of our financial stand. That's why when you check on ground, you realize that within this school of wisdom center in Vujasela district, that is in Kalumuna, our school base is really, really friendly. That is only 70,000 per term. Remember when you are within Kichuchilo district, that is Kigali city, and any part of Vunyamata or Vujasela, even if a little bit far from school, we have got school buses that move early morning to collect these learners. And in the afternoon, late evening, sometimes, not sometimes, but every day, they are taken back home to their final destination. So feel free, if you want to join us, we welcome you. The school has a conducive environment that when your child is in need, feels at home. Thank you so much for those who have been following the lesson. In case there is any question that you would wish to ask, simply feel very free and flexible enough to be updated 
or there is anything you feel like you want us to elaborate on, just reach my WhatsApp number. For those who have been following us, they have the number ready. For you as just come in today, just WhatsApp me on this number. Uh, that is plus 220, uh, 250, the country God. Then put 7, 8, 3. Six eight four one two zero. Just WhatsApp, then I will immediately get back to you and I will answer your query as long as it is related to what we are doing. Stay blessed. We wish you well.